Hey everybody, Kendra here. I was asked to do a video about some recipes and so here I am. Um, Ryder's Turkey Chili by Guy Fieri. I make this so much, my boyfriend loves this recipe. It's so yummy. However, what I really like about cooking is that you can be creative and you can do whatever you want most of the time. So um, we half this recipe, we don't use the full recipe because if we did, we could feed like, I don't know, like a whole block of people. So it's just too much. But I don't use the dried pasaya chili peppers. I don't know how to say that. So it is what it is. I don't use that. I've tried to find chili pepper paste, but where I'm at and online, I just haven't found any that I like because I like things to be organic or non-GMO and yeah, to not have cane sugar in it, and I just haven't found a paste. So anyway, I do not use canola oil. It's a highly inflammatory oil, um, so research, research states with holistic and functional medicine health, so I do not use it. Uh, we use, in my house, we use EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, um, and that's that. So with this, I know every, I like to have everything organic, but sometimes there are no organic jalapenos. So you just get like a regular jalapeno. You'll be okay, right? And we don't all, you don't have to use turkey. We do use ground turkey, but if we didn't have ground turkey, you could use any ground meat you wanted to in this. And it would still probably taste really good. Um, if you didn't have low sodium chicken broth, let's say you had beef broth or you had like vegetable broth, just use those. Yeah. So basically those are just some little things you could change out in this recipe. Everything else I would say keep because it's, you know, it, it, it makes it what it is. But um, I do like putting cheese on top. You could obviously omit that. I do like having crackers with it. I don't eat gluten. Um, well, I, I have like a 98% gluten-free diet. So um, I, if I had an option, I'm not gonna go buy a gluten cracker. But they do have gluten-free crackers out there. And um, you could also serve this with like gluten-free biscuits. They have one by Capella's. I've done a video on it. Um, delicious, so good. Um, you could also, we like to put cilantro sometimes if we have it on top of this, it's really yummy. Or get siete almond um, chips, like tortilla chips, but they're almond flour. And it's so yummy in this. It's very good, it's like a Frito pie. And again, you're not having a grain, right? Because a lot of people are grain free. So the siete almond flour tortilla chips are a godsend for people like me who don't eat a lot of corn either. And so it's it's helpful and it's healthy. Okay, if you value the content I create, please like, subscribe, and share. Bye.